It is cold press. When you cold press, you are not heat pressing the oil, so you're not changing the actual makeup of the oil itself. It is the perfect ingredient in anything. I like it in a salad. I like dipping bread into it. Get, roast some garlic, put that in there, right? It is all about the richness. It is about the color. And I'm gonna pour a little on this bread and I want you to see how beautiful this is. I like it on the plate, but I'll pour some on this bread to show you the richness and color. While I'm doing that, uh, I would love the incredible Kelly Diedring uh, to come online and she's gonna tell us a little bit about it. Kelly, this stuff is, it's mother's milk. All right, it is un Hi. unbelievable. Yeah. Hi, my dear. I just said, guy doesn't even need me because he's just oh. going at it. I mean, I know you love it as much as I do. This is Saya. It is a Greek olive oil. It is cold pressed. It is single source. Okay, we'll talk a lot about all those different things. But most importantly for me, olive oil is a superfood, right? It's so much healthier than any other fat like butter, right? And this is a healthier version of an olive oil. Ours has 464 polyphenols. Those are those really healthy antioxidants that make olive oil a superfood. But single source means it comes from one small family farm in Greece. It comes from the Kalamata region. Now we all know that name Kalamata. This is not olives made from, uh, olive oil made from Kalamata olives. Those are for eating. This is made with the Koroniaki olive, which is the queen of all olives. It is the most special olive to make olive oil. It is cold pressed. We put it in our dark green bottle, all right? You can see here, this is the family farm. This is what I love it that makes Thea so special. Guy, it is hand harvested. Not a machine, not a chemical touches our olives. It is hand harvested, it is cold pressed. Cold pressed means we basically just squeeze that golden olive oil out of the olive. If you're using it for cooking, guy, you use it for bread dipping. Um, I like to make a beautiful, fresh, salad dressing with my Thea, you can cook with this olive oil. Do not be afraid to cook with this olive oil. If you look at just a grocery store olive oil guy, you're talking 10 to $12. And when you look at the back of the grocery store olive oil, <clears throat> it says oils come from multiple sources, meaning it could come from right. California, it could come from overseas, and they mix their oils. It's not hand harvested. A lot of times it's not extra virgin. It's not cold pressed. Extra virgin means there's no chemicals added. This is all basically just squeezed, right, to get this beautiful oil. And if you look at, like, the Mediterranean diet, um, the base of the Mediterranean diet, which we know is one of the healthiest diets in the world, yeah. is olive oil. Here is our – look at that fresh salad dressing Unbelievable. with Thea. Wow. It's unbelievable. You're going to love the flavor. And, Guy, don't you believe – it's the best olive oil you've ever tasted. Oh, hands down. And you know what? I, I actually went on one of the very popular websites to see if I could find what was the, you know, what are the best olive oils out there. And I actually ordered a couple before I tried uh, uh, Thea. It's not even close. Like when you when you put the th like, it, and I, I recommend that you do it with just a little bread, okay? Uh, because you don't want to, I mean, when you first, I'm not saying for everything, when you first try it, I want you to experience the flavor that comes from it, the, the aroma that comes from it. You know, we have uh, wine coming up in a little bit. <clears throat> We're going to talk about a lot about flavors and aromas and all that stuff. Um, but when you let this get on a plate and it starts to breathe, you can smell the, uh, you can smell the olive. I mean, it is, it is so rich. It is so clean. I like basically taking it and putting it in bread like I said, and letting it just sort of, you know, get on the bread. You can do it like that any way that you want. You can see the color of the oil, okay? It's not, it, it, is, a, it is a really true deep yellow green color, the true color of olives. Uh, the flavor is, like I said, uh, second to none. You're gonna get two bottles, by the way. I don't think I even though I said that. You're gonna get a two pack. So uh, this is enough, prob well, for me, this would probably last me a month, all right, because I use a lot of olive oil and I make, um, I make dressings out of it too. But for, you're gonna get two bottles, you can keep one, give one as a gift. If you know a foodie, all right, if you know anybody that loves food, they will love this as well. Get it home, it's been hugely successful here. Uh, and for good reason, I think once people buy it, they wanna be on auto ship and get it on a regular basis. And I love the fact that you know we're, we're dealing with people that invented basically olive oil. The Greeks. Yeah. And you know? 
The Greeks, right, yeah. And I'll tell you, my husband grew up overseas. He grew up in Italy, and they, and Greece, and Europe, and, you know, they have olive oil on the table like a condiment, you know, like we sort of have salt, yeah. pepper, ketchup, that type of thing. It is such a superfood. This is such a perfect gift. When you get this home, you're getting two bottles, 25 ounces. You can see they're oversized. They're in that dark green glass, guy. You do not want your olive oil to come in a light glass bottle because it affects the flavor, right? You, I want you to cook with it. I want you to dip with it. I want you to make salad dressings with it. I want you to make a sponge cake with it, like a nice, beautiful olive oil sponge cake. It has the slow pour at the top. If you're trying to cut calories, it's the best way to do it. Even if you're doing it on pasta, guy, would you agree that just, okay, here's my pasta dish, right? Just a touch of olive oil and a squeeze of lemon on my pasta, and I have saved possibly hundreds of calories in a heavy, heavy, you know, pasta sauce, right? If it's on pasta, if it's on your zoodles, if it's over just a fresh piece of fish, a fresh piece of salmon, remember, olive oil is a superfood. Ours has 464 polyphenols. Ours is, I call it extra, extra virgin, because ours actually well exceeds the extra virgin rating in terms of acidity, okay? Ours is coming from the Corniaki olive. It's the queen of all olive. Can we get close? I wanna show you. Made in Kalamata, Greece, harvest date, November 2020, ingredients, extra virgin olive oil. One ingredient, this is not a mixture of oils. It is single source. We harvest it one time a year. This particular bottle, we do a beautiful scene each year. Okay, so this is a new scene. Maybe you're gonna start collecting. Maybe you got last year's scene. Um, this particular um, harvest was a year ago. They're harvesting now. They're harvesting now. So next year when you see us, you'll get that harvest. It's harvested once and then our bottles are gone. And the only place right now, I think there might be one other smaller online site that you can get it is HSN. At one time we were fully exclusive and then it just became hugely popular. But what a gift right? So even if you're just drizzling it, um, you know, across some charcuterie, across some bread, you see just like an olive, uh, you know, just over my olives. How about, you know, in the summer or the winter? Gosh, I enjoy this year round. Just a light drizzle and you have now added flavor and you've added a superfood. Look up the benefits of olive oil. You're getting two bottles, right? So I, this is my gift. I want you to keep one. I don't want you to gift them both away, Guy. Don't you agree? Keep one. Never And happened. then gift one. Right? <clears throat> it won't happen. I'm going to keep both. <laughs> the heck with that. I'm keeping or them both keep for both. myself. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, you know what? Because, you know, I, I grew up in a restaurant business for years and years and years. Uh, yeah. Many, many years. And, you know, I remember the first uh, decent Italian restaurant that I worked in, we would do olive oil and we would roast garlic and we would put it on the table and serve it with baguettes so people could have something to snack on while they were waiting. And it was hands down one of the best ideas we ever did. People would come to the restaurant and be like, they'd wait for the olive oil because we'd do the fresh ground pepper, we'd bring uh, the garlic cloves, we'd mash the garlic cloves in, and people would flip out at it. If you ever try that, roast some garlic and then mix this olive oil in with it and put it on bread, it'll probably be in the top three greatest things you've ever eaten in your life, all right? It is that, it is that incredibly satisfying. Uh, as again, again, the color, I'm gonna open up the bottle over here. And I'm gonna put my little tray out over here. I don't know where is a good place to do it. I just want you to see the color of the oil as I pour it in and the richness of it. I'm hoping this bottle is open, it is. And you get an idea of that just beautiful, it's kind of like on a weird background The color. There. So I'll put it up here, there we go. And maybe you could just move the camera. You get an idea of that color and of the viscosity of it, right? You see how dense, how beautiful that is, how it adheres uh, to the glass like that. It is so beautiful, it is pure. You know, I think what the problem is is that all, all olive oil is usually expensive, right? Especially, then, you, then you step up uh, a little bit, um, you know, uh, Kelly, when you go to cold press, and then when you go to, you know, uh, extra virgin, and then when you go to organic, all these different things. Yep. What you're looking for is, as I said before, is that, is that purity, all right? The tradition that comes from Greek olive oil, and you're at the, you're at the right. apex of it when it comes to their best, which is called thea. And whether you use it yeah. as a topping for a salad, uh, an ingredient in a dressing, a marinade, although I think it's way too good to use as a marinade, but hey, if you're marinating, you know, something really special, beautiful piece of salmon, and you wanna do a little marinade, put a little of this on there. You don't need much, because salmon has a lot of fat in it. But for whatever, even if you're marinating, you know, a, a big uh, a pork chop, 
right? And you want to add another element of flavor, use this oil. I, I use it more as a finishing oil, which means I add it on in its pure form at the end of the cooking. Here's, here's an example I'll give you. Like if you made like a, a big piece of grouper here and you pan, you know, you roasted the grouper in the oven, you would want to finish it with a little of this olive oil, salt and pepper and lemon, right? To get the pure flavor of all those. And, and none of them will compete. They just work together. The two pack is going quickly. How many left, Kyle? Okay, so we have about 1,500 remaining total. I'm gonna probably buy two sets. Uh, this, by the way, is a really, really good gift to send to somebody if you wanna keep one and give one away, or if you wanna give two away, that's fine. But I agree with Kelly, I think everybody should experience what the Don't difference is. <laughs> yeah, you got it. Oh, by the way, if you want to save $20, get a, keep one. Yeah, get a brand new HSN credit card today. We'll drop that price to $34.95. Get it on. All right, Kelly, keep going. We got time. Yeah, guy, I agree. You got to keep one and then gift one. You can see what we did. We just put it in a little basket. How much better is this as a holiday gift, a Hanukkah gift, a New Year's gift, a housewarming gift to put it in a little basket? We did the seasoning and then we even put in like a little glass ramekin right in the bottom here somewhere underneath my holly. There it is. You can see we did a little glass ramekin and then your favorite fresh bread. Okay. And then you bring this and they're going to think, oh my gosh, you know, they spent a lot of money. First of all, better than a bottle of wine. Guy says that his lasts him a month. Guy, that's, that's, you know, you must use a lot. Mine lasts me a couple of months. Okay. So you, you use quite a bit. I'll tell you though. If you're interested in learning again about the benefits of olive oil, I want you to just look up olive oil. It's a superfood. It is truly a superfood. You know when you go to a fancy restaurant, they top your fresh butternut squash soup or old squash soup with a little bit of olive oil. Instead of using those high, you know, sort of calorie, you know, fat like butter and, you know, mayo, go ahead and choose an olive oil next time. I promise you you will not notice any difference except that it's healthier for you. Yeah. Maybe your waistline gets a little thinner because it's a better, you know, it's a better fat. It's a healthy fat. And sure. there's a reason it is the number one staple in the Mediterranean diet. Look up the Mediterranean diet. People in those blue zones that live to be 100 years old or yeah. more, they are the Mediterranean, they, you know, they subscribe to the Mediterranean diet and they're using olive oil as their base fat. Yeah. And this is what you want. You've got <clears> to <throat> get the thea. You know, if, yeah, fre that's it. Mediterranean is, is fresh fruits and vegetables, olive oil, right? I mean, that's that's basically yep. what it's all about. This is such a high grade of, of, of olive oil that I, I you may have never tasted anything like it before. I would love you to try it. We're doing free shipping and handling. You get two bottles of this. I mean, I mean, anything you want to put it on, honestly, you really can, you can put it liberally on anything. Uh, Kelly knows that, you know, I've been, I've been doing keto on and off for like a year and a half just because I like, I like the diet. Uh, it's one that I think works for me. Everybody's different, but it is a diet where you are encouraged to, to have fats, not bad fats, healthy fats. Okay. Yeah. You could have a bad fat once in a while. You can eat a piece of bacon and all that stuff, but what you really want is you want an oil that is a you know a vegetable based oil and, and you know, it's an olive so so you know it's it's not it's not a lard product you know which is another there's all kinds of different fats and lipids out there but this is one that you can really em embrace and enjoy it is good for you you can go online and go online and read about you know the best olive oils and, and how good they are for you you'll find a ton of different information I love that you brought up that Mediterranean diet I read about that all the time and I I do a version kind of that I, I love like if you want you want to eat the greatest thing you've ever had in your life do this okay and I don't know if you've got a grill go outside and take your favorite vegetables and slice them in like you know like half inch slices I would do zucchini I would do yellow squash oh, uh, you know whatever your favorite uh, you could do eggplant and go put them on the grill for about a minute or two on each side bring them inside and put this olive oil on them with salt and pepper yep. You will, you will eat vegetables the rest of your life because they are that good. And it's, the, right, Kelly? It's the combination it's so of the grill true. and the olive oil. It's just, it's, uh, it's unmatched, all right? You will love it's it, Kelly. It's why we get such good reviews. It's well-reviewed. Thank you, guys. Yeah, I don't want to say goodbye to Kelly because I never get to see Kelly. I'm going to eat the bread. Can I eat right. the bread now? Yeah, go ahead. You can eat. Kelly, love you. See ya. <laughs> She's gone. Hey, real quick, uh, while I have a chance, we got a Traeger grill. 
So I don't care if you're saying, hey, we just had a nor'easter, we're not grilling anymore. Yeah, you are. You'll, I'll dig a trench in the snow. I'll walk 20 feet in the snow out in the deck and I'll dig it, I'll dig it th right through it to get to, to my Traeger grill. You will do that as well. We are doing this on VIP financing. Hey, Kyle, do you know how much it costs everybody if they put this on a year? $49. You could own a Traeger or give one for a holiday gift for $49. And this is the Traeger you plug in, uses the pellets, easy. You can slow cook, fast cook, grill, smoke, barbecue, whatever you want to do on this guy. I love it. Nothing like a neighborhood that smells like smoke, right? The smoke from a from a really, really good uh, smoker oven. That's what we got here. 40, uh, what'd you say, $41? 40, $49. Have you got an HSN credit card? All right. Here's my, uh, my pick of this show. Uh, I picked it because, uh, first of all, I love that it's a smart deal and we got a great discount on it. Every day of the week, the caloric oven, which I believe is, it's a top of the line oven that we carry here as far as air fryer ovens and multi-purpose ovens, is on sale today, $40 off. Plus they gave us free shipping and handling, all right? So you're gonna get this, home, this thing on for $32. You will love it. What do I love about it? We call it the, the, the 10 in one because it does so many different things and I'll get to all that in a minute. But what I love about it is, is you've got an air fry oven so you can have all that yummy without all that guilt. So if you wanna do wings or fries or tater tots or, or pizzas, whatever it is you wanna do in there, you could do all that without having to add any extra fat or oil. Most food that is uh, fried in a bag already has been fried in oil. There's no reason to add more oil. An air fryer is the best way to do that. Plus the food doesn't sit and kind of soak up the oil because you get all the baskets included. Another thing I love about this oven, it has, uh, let me get all this out of the way. Out of the way, out of the way. All right, so here we go. It has double doors, all right? That is huge to me because that is like a traditional oven. All right, when you have a traditional, uh, you know, restaurant oven, like an Alto Sham, you open them from both sides so you can get everything in there very, very easily and they close at the same time. You've got glass doors. The whole thing is aluminum and beautiful stainless on the exterior. You have digital control. I don't have this one plugged in, but I know that Jamie will. All digital control with all these presets for air frying, chicken, bacon, bake, broil, pastries. If you want to toast, if you want to roast, all that right there, multi-level cooking. We're going to give you the, uh, the uh, baking sheet is going to come along with uh, the skewers because you can also roast rotisserie in here. Imagine an oven that you could put a roast on and you could stick it in there and you can rotisserie as well. That is included there. Uh, and then this is the air fry basket. Everything's kind of stuck together here. Let me move everything. <laughs> There's the air fry basket that comes with it. Limited space up here. That you just pop in. Anything you want to air fry, you will love this. All right. It is the lowest price anywhere that we looked. All right. We went on all these different websites and the best prices we found was $199. We're gonna give you the uh, Caloric uh, Max cookbook, because that's what this is called, the Caloric Max. That is included with it as well. Easy to use, all right? Uh, you've got 26 quart capacity inside. I mean, here's the bottom line. I got an oven back over here. The oven back over here, I don't know if you can see me, I'll walk back. Brett will follow me over. Hey, the size of this oven. If I wanna cook a, a tray of food this big, why am I gonna heat an oven up that big? Why? This is four, five, six times the amount of energy to be able to heat up when I can use this baby right here. Chef Jamie Gwen is joining us. I'm Jamie, thanks for bearing with me. I have a lot to say about this oven. I love it. Uh, I don't have any demos. You've got all of them. Welcome to our show. Happy holidays to you. You're amazing. <laughs> and happy holidays to you. You're amazing. I miss you guys so much. I wish you were here in my kitchen. I have plenty of food to go around. I've been up since really early. And I have to tell you, I could definitely feed a crowd. But uh, I understand you met my new boyfriend, Max. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Actually, I have a, a boyfriend. You know, he's just about to turn two. And he's the love <laughs> of my life. But I'll tell you. As a busy mom and as a really busy chef, having so many blessed years at HSN, this might be my most favorite appliance ever. And maybe because I'm very proud to tell you I had a hand in it. This is the Max from Caloric, as you mentioned, a 99-year-old company that is still family-run, privately held. I'm very proud to be an ambassador for them because they are the leader in technology and progression when it comes to appliances. Now you highlighted the best of Max, but let me show you everything it does because the truth is it is 10 appliances in one. So clear your countertops because you do not need anything else. What's brilliant about it is that it fits on the countertop, but underneath the cabinet. 
as a mom, I'll tell you, I love my conventional oven back there too, like you walked over to, Guy. But the truth is my son is on the floor in this kitchen a lot of hours a day. And I love that the max is up off of the floor where your conventional oven is. Now you mentioned too, the doors, that French door oven is fancy, right? Oh yeah. And I love it for a lot of reasons. Like you said, the Alto Sham, yes, it has greater capacity. But what I love too, is that there are no drips down on the door that opens this way, right? And have you ever burnt yourself? Or let me let me rephrase, Guy. How many times have you burnt yourself on the bottom of your <laughs> arm from that door of the oven being so hot? I mean, it's definitely a hazard. But what I love most about the Max is that it is a powerhouse because I just seared a prime ribeye steak three minutes on each side with zero preheat. It cooks 33% faster, and that's everything from your steaks to your bacon to your chicken wings for football to your cinnamon rolls and your biscuits. Because it is the mechanism, it is the beauty of an air fryer. But the genius of it is, is that it's an oven. It's 26 quart capacity. It's a powerhouse and you get exceptional results that are delicious and juicy and golden. I use it breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I have to tell you, I do. Uh, I just, all right. yeah, I was just gonna say, all right, really quickly, we're limited on this. It is a smart deal, which means that price is only gonna last for one day, all right? We don't know what, I mean, that, that's it. If you wanna save $40 today, who couldn't use extra cooking space for the holidays, right? Everybody does, everybody needs it, right? You have people come over, they bring something that has to go in the oven and you're like, oh my gosh, where am I gonna put that? I've already got potatoes, I got a turkey in one oven, I got this, the stove is all filled up. This is a great way to be able to add extra cooking space to anybody's existing kitchen. And I will tell you this, and I know Jamie knows this as well, once you start using this, you will probably rarely use your regular oven, which not only will save you money on your electric bill, because this is a fraction of the amount of energy to run than the other big oven, but you're gonna be able to cook all your favorite foods and do it quicker. As we said, 30 to 40% less cooking time because you've got a limited cooking space, a smaller cooking space that everything is contained inside, you get to cook faster. It is a beautiful oven to look at. Uh, when you see, I'm gonna turn it on here real quick, make sure that it is on. Let me hit the button. I think it's plugged in. Yeah, there it is. All right, we're gonna, I'm gonna hit air fry. There we go. And immediately you'll see the panel lights up. So right now I'm on the air fry button, which is at one of the main buttons right here. So that you know is perfectly good to go. 425, 415. You have all these other settings that you can adjust on here and that you can access. There's an interior oven light, which I is brilliant. I wish my oven had that. It doesn't have, I had a light, but it blew out. I'm not going in there and trying to fix that up. You gotta take it all apart to do that. So you got a, you got a light right here. Easy uh, programming. So right now it's blinking air fry. I can move it, <clears throat> if I wanna move it to chicken, I could do that, I could do ribs, shrimp. Uh, at the bottom here, you've got all your baking features. So bake and broil and pastry and pizza. So if you're doing bread doughs or anything, it has all those at the bottom. There's no guesswork. Plus we're throwing in the oven, uh, the air fry oven cookbook to go along with it. It's a rotisserie. So if you wanna do your own little, uh, you know, little uh, game hens or chickens or whatever you wanna do there, or if you wanna do a little pork roll or pork roast, porchetta, you could do all that in this oven. I got a regular big old oven, doesn't even have a rotisserie in it, so now you've got a rotisserie as well. Very limited. We've got one more thing I'm gonna say, I'm gonna give it back to Chef. All right, use it. All the rest of this month, well, you won't get it, they'll probably get it, yeah, it's end of the month, so you get it all of November, all of December, all of January before you return it. I want you to try it, use it for the holidays. And you return it for your, for your refund, if you don't agree, that this has become your next best friend, as we said, or as Jamie said, her new boyfriend, Max. If you don't believe that this is it, you could always return it, you will love it. I, I especially love, like I said, the interior light. I mean, that's a great feature, uh, the dueling French doors. And, and here it, it beeps when it opens, so you know when it's, if you've left the door open and you need to close it. Every feature you would want, uh, an air fry tray, a regular roasting uh, oven rack. Uh, you get all these other racks. You get the, the deeper pan. Um, you know, every, everything that we we're showing you here is included. You will love it. One payment of $32. If you want to get it for $20 off, brand new HSN credit card drops your price to $139. All right, Jamie, back to you. We got, I know we, got, we, we still got plenty of time, but I want to see all the stuff uh, that you made with it too. 
Yeah, I wish I could feed you, Guy. You know, <laughs> I, I realize that there are a lot of ladies that are about to steal my boyfriend. I mean, truth, <laughs> right? I want to mention to you, I'm really proud of this cookbook, 138 pages, hardcover. That is, um, by the way, the exclusive to this smart deal. We have not offered the Max Air Fryer oven with the cookbook before. And I just want to show you, I mean, everything from chicken parm, which is a recipe that I stole from my mom and then adjusted it for our air fryer oven. 11 minutes, guy. I mean, amazing when you think about the time saving. And when I have leftover chicken parm, check this out. You can use all of your existing cookware and bakeware inside the Mac. So let's say you love to bake in silicone. Maybe you make the ultimate Southern biscuits or you like to proof cinnamon rolls. By the way, we have a proofing feature. You literally touch a button. I throw my leftover chicken parm in a small cast iron skillet. Uh, I put some tomato sauce on the bottom. I do Munster cheese. That's my secret. My son loves it and I can reheat that chicken parm in three minutes. By the way, I can also make nachos in three minutes in the max, which means that my football crowd is very happy with me. But think about weeknight dinners too, because it's not just an oven for the holidays, albeit I'll tell you, when it comes to what Guy said, your Thanksgiving feast, do you ever have enough room in your conventional oven like mine back there? I don't. So where are you going to bake your apple pie and your praline top sweet potatoes? I made a turkey breast guy in the max in less than 30 minutes. It is so juicy and succulent. So maybe you're just serving a few for Thanksgiving or you want to put a 12 pound bird in our 26 quart oven. You can do that too. This is all about velocity. It's all about the cyclone of air in the max. Our oven has two spiral heating elements, four heating rods, two top and two bottom, and an air circulating fan that is more powerful than any other air fryer oven I've seen. And you wipe it clean and put all the accessories in the dishwasher, by the way. This is the ultimate air fryer oven, and there are lots of them out there. But if you've been looking for one, I truly believe this is it. Now, if you were coming for dinner, Guy, this is what I would make. I would assemble it before so I could literally sit down and have a glass of Chardonnay with you when you <laughs> walked in. Two fillets of salmon, cubes of butternut squash, wow. cut small enough that they're gonna cook at the same time. It's beautiful, right? Just color-wise. I found some fresh asparagus because I have the privilege of living in Southern California with gl glorious produce year round. And I made an herb compound butter. I am going to slide this into my air fryer oven. Mind you, this is my rose gold sheet pan. These are, these are my favorite because I'm a little fancy. I use all of my existing cookware in the max. And I am going to, at the touch of a button, hit air fry. I know this salmon takes seven minutes. It, the max is a genius. It knows 425. And I'm going to hit start. Done. And seven minutes from now, we could sit down to dinner. Now, I could show you a pizza that has the crispiest, most delicious crust you've ever seen with gorgeous color. I could show you appetizers. I could show you the crumb on baked goods that would make you jealous, Guy, because I don't think your oven bakes like that. No. I mean, isn't, isn't that beautiful? You know, Jamie, it's, and you have control over it. I mean, that that is really yes. the big, because of all the, yes. and, and by the way, you don't have to do it in your brain. The machine does it, but all you need to do is push a button. All right, so I would recommend this. If you are a uh, person who does not know how to cook very well, maybe you're recently married and you're like, man, now I gotta start cooking things. You're gonna get the, the cookbook to go along with it, and that'll show you how to make a variety of great dishes all by using this. That's your finger. It's all you really need to do. Put stuff in and use your finger, all right? That's it. There's no guesswork. You know everything is perfectly timed with the temperatures are all set ahead of time. Do you think like regular chefs just do everything by eye? No, they know because of after years and years of knowing what the food is, the ovens that they're working at, they know exactly how long food will take because they can't afford to burn food either. All right, they're not eating it, they're serving it. So they, they, it's, it's important that they know. This machine replicates all those chef qualities that maybe you don't have. They're built into this. And the best part is for me too, Jamie, like I said, it's a go-to. You no longer have to think, okay, I, you know, I really wanted to have uh, you know, a mini pizza, but I really don't want to heat up that big oven. 
You know, and I don't want to stick it in a microwave because that's ridiculous. Microwaves for, heat, for reheating coffee, essentially. That's right. Or melting butter Thank in a you. cup that you need to add to a cake mix, right? That pretty much, I mean, you're not baking in your microwave. And also a regular, traditional, pure air fryer, it really doesn't do much else, right? It really just, no, it, it, it really, really is. Doesn't. An air fryer is a reheater, all right? That's basically what it is. In most cases, yeah, you could do some baking in it. They're, they're good items. This is a real oven. So you're not, yes. you're not buying like a little thing that you're gonna use for six months. You're gonna use this, Jamie, you're probably gonna use this every day. Oh, day, day in, day out, I'll tell you. I mean, I throw in quick piece of toast. You can actually toast 12 pieces of bread at a time, just in case you have a really big family. Uh, but I'll throw in a piece of toast for my son in the morning, spread it with almond butter. Uh, for lunch, I, I make a quick quesadilla. I'll reheat something. I'll throw in some shrimp for myself that literally take four minutes. And I think, Guy, one thing you mentioned we should touch on again. There's no preheat with the Max Air Fryer Oven. It's maximum power, maximum speed, maximum results. That's why we named him Max. And in the time that it takes you to preheat your conventional oven, I can make you truffle Parmesan French fries. Now, by the way, I am the superhero mommy in my neighborhood. I live in, uh, it's almost like a racetrack, circular all the way around. And all the mommies converge on my house because I can make French fries faster than anyone. This makes one very popular, by the way, I have to tell you. But when it comes to delicious dishes, because you and I agree, Guy, and I know that, and I love your passion for food. When you serve food to your family, it is the source of love. And with great integrity, I, I serve and feed my son. And when he asks for seconds, that is the greatest compliment. If you want an appliance at your fingertips that fits on the counter, and by the way, it can also go in the back house or the pool house or the RV or the winter cabin, or if you have a child in college that needs to eat healthier or has some dietary restrictions, the Max Air Fryer oven plugs into any standard outlet. This is the oven that makes you a culinary hero. This is simple genius, really. With 21 presets and 26 quart capacity, we call it Airblaze technology. And it's not just for the holidays. Like you said, it's for ribs on Sunday night and yeah. wings for football. And the best baked potato guy you've ever made, 20 minutes. I mean, 21, I think this one took. Mm -hmm. It's a rather oversized baked potato. It's all fluffy and the skin gets all crispy. Oh, and I made you a, a ribeye over sweet potato fries. I finished it with some flake salt. Um, I had a little bit of compound butter uh, and leftover from that salmon. Oh, we have three minutes left till dinner's ready. Just FYI. I, I didn't even get oh, my... that means the nachos are ready. You, oh, you, let me grab those. We were supposed to be having a glass of wine during that whole time. Jamie. Oh, that's <laughs> right. I forgot. Hey, Cheers. Hey, uh, hey. <laughs> listen, you know what? If, if you like easy, this is oh, for you. Yeah. I, I'm telling you, this is such an easy oven to use. If you want to save money, and, I, and I'm, you, you think I'm um, messing with you on the amount of money you're going to save, you know what it costs to heat that big monster up every time? And I'm not, I'm not poo pooing your regular oven. Yeah, you want to cook a 25 pound turkey? You're not putting it in here. All right? But you're not having a 25 pound turkey every day of the week. You have a 20 pound turkey, most of you once a year. So you have this big giant oven over here that you never fill to capacity, unless you're an industrial baker, which you probably aren't. You never, you never maximize the space in there. This, you will maximize the space. All right, you saw Jamie, I love, and you know, Jamie, you put a lot of stuff on that tray, the salmon and the, and the vegetables and all the different things. You put a lot of stuff on there. You would never be able to fit that in a cylindrical shaped air fry oven. You know, you, you wouldn't, right? And plus, not only that, JB, big deal. I like an oven I can see what's cooking. You know what I mean? Thank you. Yes, yeah. and that is so important <laughs> to mention. Um, I happen to love the glass doors as well, Guy, because especially because they open out. You don't need to open down. Right. And we've all bent down. I mean, I've laid on the floor to watch something bake or roast in my oven to perfection, right? I love the glass doors too. Can we just go through some of the settings? Because I think it's important for great cooks to know that when we say 10 in one, we mean it's an air fryer, it's a broiler, because you saw this steak sear, it's an oven, it's an indoor grill, it's a rotisserie, it's a pizza oven. By the way, it's worth the, it's worth the price of the oven for the rotisserie chicken alone, Guy. It's the best rotisserie chicken you've ever had. 
It's also a toaster. It's a pizza oven. It's a proofer. And then check this out. Guy, I took my son apple picking for fall because it was a great outdoor activity and we're still cautious and safe. And we picked these little beautiful honey crisp apples and I came home and I dehydrated all of them. I have apple chips for, I was gonna say days, but that's not true, maybe years, maybe. <laughs> it's a dehydrator too. It really is 10 in one. So clear your countertop because it cooks more than 30% faster. It is the best of an air fryer with the beauty of an oven. And it will be your go-to. This is why I say he's my new boyfriend because I literally use the Max day in and day out. Oh, look now, at I that live. In, you did that live. Oh, I, I said seven minutes, but I fibbed. It was really six. It's about to turn. I know it is. Let me turn the oven off because you know what, guy? I don't need it anymore. And I didn't have to <laughs> preheat it. But check that out. Wow. Dinner's ready. Unbelievable. Beautiful salmon. Yeah. Look at the caramelization guy on my butternut squash. Isn't that the best when you get all that gorgeous, crisp, yeah. beautiful caramelization? The asparagus are crisp, tender. I guarantee it. The salmon is cooked juicy to perfection in less than seven minutes. Dinner's ready on a sheet pan. You could use your steak tray that comes with. You could use an air fryer basket. You get every accessory and a 138-page hardcover cookbook that I poured my heart into at what is, like you said, the best value anywhere in the world. I, I'll tell you, I mean, I'm kind of crazy in love with the Max. Yeah. I am. I, and look, and you got, look, you got, what do you got to wash? Beautiful, you got one right? tray to wash. That's it. Thank you. you. Know? And, and then it, I like to just wipe down the yeah, glass. That's all you do. And literally walk away. So I want to come in close to mine because, you know, Jamie's only got what camera she has here. So I want you to come in. This is, if you're trying to change and go through the features, if you come in real close, you'll see I'm on air fry. So when I'm on air fry, it knows exactly where it is, right? And it knows what to do. If I scroll ahead, this says chicken. So now we're at 40 minutes at 435. You want your chicken cooked the right way, right? So you know that. If you want to go to warm, it has a keep warm feature, drops it down to 280. If you want to do ribs, 25 minutes, for, you know, 400. If you want to do shrimp, only 10 minutes. They don't take long. You want to steam. Uh, you want to do wings. You want to do bacon, fish. I mean, it's the whole thing is set up very, very easily. And then again, when you open the doors, the light turns on, shows you everything that you need to show you. Uh, I want to try to hold this book. I'm going to hold it over my shoulder. So you guys can see, uh, and Jamie put this book together and it is amazing. The pictures that are in here, you are getting this. You're not paying extra. If you wanna make egg dishes, cheese dishes, donuts, I mean, uh, look, bon mis, I mean, every, there's that salmon, look at the chicken. I mean, look at, look at these meals that you can make and you could do it all using that oven and this cookbook and all these accessories that come along with it. And we didn't even, Jamie, we didn't even get to it as a, as a rotisserie. You have that feature as well. So if you, you know, rather yeah. than going and spending $10 on a rotisserie chicken, why don't you make your own? That'd be a lot better. Oh. <laughs> Just a few rotisserie chickens from now, let me tell you, it pays for itself. That is my ultimate Sunday supper, guy. I make a rotisserie chicken. I put bread cubes on the tray beneath it rather than, you could do potatoes or otherwise, but bread cubes are my new thing. Yeah. And then all the juices from the rotisserie chicken Look at the size drip of that. onto the bread cubes. Yeah. Oh, that's a four and a half pound bird. Wow. Oh yeah. All right, you, you know, you got you, me. You got me, I Jamie. did smoked paprika butter. <laughs> oh, so good. Okay, my boyfriend uh, Max and I say thank you, guys. Uh, thank you, thank you. Jamie, you're amazing. I, I appreciate you, darling. And you have a great holiday. Thank I know you. I'll I see I'll be seeing you. you soon. I can't wait. Thank you. All right, you. honey, take care. 773233 if you want to grab that. We got lots of great smart deals over there at hsn.com. Uh, simply go to our website and check them all out. Remember, smart uh, smart deals do not last forever. Uh, so if you want to grab them, and it could be anything, whether you watch, you need new shoes or whatever, we've got it there. And did you know that we also have top amazing gifts uh, that you'll only find on hsn.com? I go to hsn.com all the time and there's, I find there's thousands of products and they're there all the time, which is really cool. And there's special offers that only appear on hsn.com. So uh, get more of what you love, get the gifts that you know they'll love and you can get that all right now at hsn.com. All right, stepping away.
for a minute. When we come back, it's the John Florell Show with the uh, soon-to-be-famous, if not already, Speed Grader. Just around the corner. Make this holiday the most festive ever during HSN's Deck the Halls event, our biggest and best decorating event of the season. You'll get the brightest deals on everything from ornaments to outdoor lights. Join us Tuesday at midnight on HSN and at hsn.com. Food has always been my passion. But the truth is, even in the world's best kitchens, the tools can really make or break a chef. That's why I've developed this incredible, innovative line for HSN. Let's turn the everyday into gourmet. Want to be the best gift giver this season? It couldn't be easier at the HSN.com gift store, where you can find thousands of gifts for everyone on your list. Just search by person, price, category, or even by interest, and we'll take care of the rest. Discover our holiday gift guides and get inspired by our festive tips and tricks videos. You'll never run out of ideas at the gift store. Search gifts at HSN.com. Hi, everybody. I'm Guy. I am your uh, go-to guy for several things. Uh, today, it happens to be for holiday cooking. Uh, if you could pick one item, that is what we're all about. When it comes to holiday cooking and preparation, it would be the Kitchen HQ Speed Grater. It's our own proprietary brand. I love it. I have given this probably more to, to more people as a gift than any other thing I bought at HSN. Why? It works. It is, it's basically a, a little portable food processor you can bring anywhere. Nothing to plug in. It basically suction cups down to your counter. You put whatever you want in there and you turn it into magic. And I mean like taking uh, like croutons and turning them into breadcrumbs, to bread chicken or Cheez-Its or, or Doritos. And we, we make a Dorito chicken, uh, coated chicken that is unbelievable. You can grate cheese in it. You can grate vegetables, slices it, dices it, chops. It does everything. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna order a color. I have all these colors available. I have it in the white, I have it in the red, I have it in black, I have it in the silver gray, I have it in blue, and I have it in teal. You're going to get three of these little stainless steel drums to go with it. And John's going to show you how easy those are to put on. All you do is put a drum in, screw it on, and start turning. And you are instantly producing the most amazing results you've ever seen. I actually have a little demo. I'll do mine later. But I want to get John Florell out. Because when you watch John and you see how easy <laughs> and how much fun and how relatively quiet versus another machine and how easy to clean it is, you will love it. John, go, baby, go. It's, it's so simple, guy. You just take your vegetable, fruit, meat, or cheese, put it in the top of the machine, and turn the handle. And look at this. I'm slicing carrots. Perfect for salads or for, uh, for a soup or a stew. You can do things like here. Here's an entire cucumber for bread and butter, pickles, or for cucumber salad. You can nickel down carrots for canning, slice beets for pickling. And when you get close to your fingers, you don't want to put your fingers down in here. Uh, Kitchen HQ came up with this thing. It's a little pusher that feeds the vegetable, fruit, meat, or cheese down through the blades so you never waste anything, and you can't cut yourself. But watch this, because you'll do things like, well, here, how about this? You want to slice potatoes for scallop potatoes or potatoes that are rotten? You don't need to split the machine. All you do is turn the handle. You can do small things like radishes. I can do one radish if, if you want to do a radish, or you can do an entire handful. But the hopper is huge. It does larger vegetables. You can do four or five radishes at a time. But, Guy, here's how simple this is to change out. Let, let's say you don't want to slice. Maybe you want to grate. I'm going to unscrew the handle. There's a big knob on the back of the handle here that you just unscrew. And then that releases the drum inside. Now, these drums are all stainless steel. They're dishwasher safe. So you can just pop them in the dishwasher. Here, it also comes with your gra a coarse grating drum and a fine grating drum. I'm going to put the coarse grating drum in. We'll twist that handle back on and watch this because now, instead of slicing your potatoes, you can grate potatoes for hash browns. You'll grate potatoes for potato pancakes, hash browns, sharp cheddar cheese, Parmesan cheese. You can grate carrots, coconut, chocolate. How about zucchini for zucchini bread or zucchini muffins? I mean, it does more work than those big, heavy electric food processors in less time because it just, you know, well, here, let me just show you how easy this is to set up and clean because all you need 
is a little space on your countertop. Everything comes apart, so it's so easy to clean. The whole top comes off. It's all dishwasher safe. In fact, here, let me turn the little camera here so you guys can see this. The top comes off. All the parts and pieces are dishwasher safe. You slide the top on, find a place on your countertop or tabletop that you want it. Then this little collar right here, you twist this collar, and that's going to lock it down solid. So it's not going to move around on your countertop. But watch this here. I'll, I'll put the grating drum in, screw the handle on, and watch this because all you're going to do is take a bowl, a salad bowl, frying pan, measuring bowl, whatever you like. Here, let me adjust this camera just a little bit so you guys can see this better. Watch this. Put a block of cheese in the top for tacos, enchiladas, burritos, tostadas. I mean, for homemade salads. Or maybe you just want to grate up some cheese to uh, keep it grated for all week in the fridge. It's so much cheaper to buy cheese in a block than it is pre-grated. And it tastes better, too. But look, guys, not only for cheese, watch this. I can take here, I can, I can take a hard-boiled egg put it in the top of the machine, if you like egg salad. But the cool part is, because that new hopper has so much larger, I can put three or four hard boiled eggs in there at a time, and I can grate eggs for egg salad, tuna fish, chicken salad, potato salad. And now, because it's all going into the bowl, I can mix that right in the bowl. So I can put my mayonnaise in there, or whatever it else is you like. But you can do so much. Look at this guy. This is why this has become the number one selling kitchen gadget in the history of HSM. It's so versatile and it's so s simple and easy to clean. <clears throat> it really does just about everything. Three fresh slices of bread for homemade panko or bread crumbs. I mean, I'll tell you wow. what, for the stuffing for the holidays, all you do is turn that handle and I'm making fresh bread crumbs perfect and it all goes into the bowl, guy. You know, John, and, and not many people are, have the uh, have the good fortune of having incredible knife skills. You know, I worked at a restaurant. John is is incredible with a knife as well. But most people, when they're when they're trying to chop things down, especially for like a soup, John, or a stuffing, they don't have the ability to do that with a regular knife. When you look at what John, the results John gets, and how fine when you're using the fine grating drum, how finely you could get that chop. Because nobody, let's face it, you're making stuffing. Does anybody want to eat a big piece of hunk and onion? and they're having stuffing, no. They want it to be kind of a, homo a homogenous blend inside there. You're gonna be able to get that with this. All right, really quick colors then back to John. I have it available in the white. I own the red. I've given the black, I've given the gray as gifts. Uh, I've given the teal. I have not given the blue yet, but I've got people to buy this year. Everybody gets three drums to go along with it. I love the fact there's nothing to plug in. If you own a boat or an R RV, right, or you travel a lot, you want to bring it with you for whatever reason, you can. Uh, I know a lot of people that put it that put it in their RV, right? They're like, are you kidding me? Now I can chop up onions and all that stuff. doesn't mean you, that you don't want to eat well just because you leave your house. This you would take with you. You wouldn't take a big old food processor. And not that there's anything wrong with those. If, if you're doing holiday baking and you need a big food processor, I understand that. But if you just want to chop up an onion or if you just want to grate up a carrot right or, or do your own cheese this is the thing you want and John and I have come up with John we we we, we get a kick out of just messing with each <laughs> other who can come up with the better topping or the better coating for chicken go ahead John I got I got to beat look at this I found these <laughs> mint Oreo cookies in the, in the grocery store I'm gonna pop oh. a bunch of those in here and look at this guy for ice cream sundae toppings, oh. for cake toppings, or pie toppings. Maybe you want to make an Oreo cookie crust, then you'll use the finer drum. But with this coarse drum, you can even do chocolate. Here's four bars of chocolate. Watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to put it in the top and just turn the handle. And look how the chocolate comes out of here. Perfect for topping a meringue pie. Maybe it's for a latte. Or I'll tell you what, it does more work, like you said, than those big expensive electric food processors and you can keep this right out on your kitchen table how about this guy take some almonds walnuts peanuts here's or cashews here's some m m's i put some dry roast and peanuts and m m's in here the kids can make their own ice cream topping or maybe you want to maybe you're making cupcakes and you, and you want to top the cupcakes with it the kids can do this themselves at home i mean it comes out perfect and oh watch this I gotta show you this too, because by changing out the drum, you're gonna change out the machine. And I'm gonna take this coarse drum out. All I'm doing is I'm twisting the handle. And remember, these are all dishwasher safe, so you don't have to worry about that. Or you can just, I find it's easier just to rinse them off into the sink yeah. like a knife. Me I mean, too. it's so simple. Yep. But look at this, graham crackers for graham cracker trucks. 
You want to talk about breading? You can put Doritos in here, like you said, some cheeses for fish dinner. I'm doing grand. Here's a whole entire stack of graham crackers turned into a perfect consistency for graham cracker crust. And I'm gonna I'm gonna hold this up to the camera here so you guys can Look see this. Look at that. Look how perfect that comes out of there. Oh, and by the way, not just for that. Here's here. How about this? Instead of graham cracker truck crust, use your imagination. I got some ginger snaps. Oh. You can make a ginger snap crust for, for like a, maybe it's a, a, a key lime pie. And instead of using graham crackers, you can use uh, any kind of cookie you like. But look at this. I mean, you mentioned the Cheez-Its. <laughs> I love this. You know, I went to the grocery store earlier and Cheez-Its come out, they come out with some cool flavors. <laughs> you can flavor your fi chicken, fish, or meatloaf by making your own breading. I mean, <laughs> you can flavor it however you like. Olive, Gino, habanero, yeah. all that good stuff. Cheddar cheese, uh, Parmesan cheese. And speaking of Parmesan cheese, it's one of the best hard food Look at creators that. you'll ever see. Look at Perfect it. for pasta night. I mean, it's absolutely fantastic. It comes out of there like snow. It's, hey, it's like I, angel hair. John, I, I, I tried. John gave what me that? an idea last time we worked together. He said, Cool Ranch Dorito. Take some Cool Ranch oh, yeah. Doritos and make a coating for chicken or fish or <laughs> shrimp. It, it, I oh, mean, yeah. it is so much fun. Anything that you see on a shelf that's either a chip or a cracker, you could turn into a filling, you could turn into a topping, and you could do that without ever having to plug it in. You're going to love it. All right, real quick white, red, black, gray. Teal or blue? John, I got about 30 seconds left. I'll let you close it out, buddy. Oh, I'll tell you what. I've got the grating drum in here. Carrot cakes, lettuce and potato pancakes, pepper or half crowns, sharp cheddar cheese, Parmesan cheese. Literally, this machine does everything but the cooking guy. And every what's great about it is you just put a bowl, a frying pan, or measuring bowl. The other night, I took a whole handful of garlic cloves and filled this up sliced them perfectly for sauteed garlic with my steaks. I mean, it's so simple to use and it locks down to any smooth countertop love it. tabletop. I love it, John. Great job, buddy. Uh, we got them. We are crazy busy as we always are. Mr. Florell, thank you, sir, for doing a great demonstration as you always do. If you want to get it, you'll only find Thanks, it here. 673-085 is your item number. $24.95. Hey, did you guys get to see the launch of Valerie Bertinelli Wines? Oh my gosh. And they are incredibly good, all right? They're all award winners. Every one of these has won some type of an award out there in, uh, where they do all that stuff out in California. This is the Vintage Wine Estates Bertinelli. You can get a three bottle mix of, of uh, the rosé. Uh, I believe the other one is a Chardonnay and the other is a uh, Cabernet. Or you could get a mixed case of the bottles of wine. The shipping and handling is included. Uh, here, here, we got a breakdown for you. So you can get three bottles of Rosé, three of Chardonnay, three of the Sangiovese, or you can get three Cabernet. Or you could get a choice of 12 with six Rosé, six Chardonnay, six Sangiovese, six Cabernet, or the best one of the bunch is the mix. Get a little bit, and by the way, that Rosé, I'm not a huge Rosé uh, fan, but I love it. It's got a little bit of sweetness to it. It's great, uh, great for a brunch afternoon, a lighter sort of a meal. We have the big bold uh, reds in the uh, Sangiovese and the Cabernet, and then we got the light and refreshing, um, I believe that's a Pinot. Anyway, uh, 078463 is the item number if you wanna go there. All right, I am very excited about our next item. I got to speak with my special guest earlier this morning uh, before I came out. Her name is Karen McNeil. <clears throat> if you have not heard of Karen McNeil, then you know very little about wine because she is basically the person to know in this country and across the world when it comes to wine. She's the only American to have won every major wine award given in the English language. She is a James Beard Award winner for Wine and Spirits Professional of the Year. Uh, she's won awards for Consumer Wine uh, Rights communicator of the year time magazine called her america's missionary of the vine one of the most uh, 100 most influential people when it comes to wine and uh karen you have to bear with me i i and you even won an emmy i i had to get through all your credentials uh before we go through it what we are presenting today is uh the karen mcneil uh, mcneil flavor first collection uh brought to us by oneida um i actually very happy they actually put it in the title as you can see karen we wanted to make sure they did that <laughs> But what it's all about, and if you are a wine person, 
you get a, you have a little bit of a grip of what we're talking about. If you're not a wine person, you're going to find this fascinating and very uh, important to you. I don't think people understand that the vessel by which they consume that beverage is very important and integral to how that experience is going to be. Karen, is, uh, that's her life. That's basically what she's dedicated it to. And she brings us an incredible value. Eight wine glasses, and you're going to get two of each. Each one has its own unique uh, sort of a purpose. You're going to get two for the crisp and fresh wine. So I would say more your white wines. The bold and powerful. So if you like, uh, you know, more of the Cabernet or, or a Barolo or something like that, that's good. We have uh, one, uh, two that are for creamy and silky wine glasses. Okay, and then finally, we have the everything glass, which is the one that kind of looks more like a snifter. It's that one right there. You're going to get two of each. Eight, eight separate glasses for eighty-four ninety-five. Karen, I'm done talking. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it to you. Go ahead. Oh, guy, it is so great to be with you. I am <laughs> so glad to see you. You know, I was thinking this morning. The holidays are just such a perfect time to share some wine with family and friends. And you know, after thirty years, really, of teaching sommeliers and uh, wine lovers all over the world about wine, it seems to me that we all want the flavor of the wine we drink to be the best it possibly can be. And so, after several years, I designed here in my kitchen in the Napa Valley a line of flavor first glasses, the first glasses, that are designed to maximize the flavor of the wine you drink. And uh, actually the science, as you say, is pretty simple because the shape of the glass really profoundly affects the wine's aroma and flavor. So you mentioned our flavor first, uh, crisp and fresh glass. If you love Sauvignon Blanc or Pinot Grigio or Rosé or Prosecco, this glass is so fantastic for those wines because you'll see that the widest part of the glass is sort of toward the top of the glass. And what that does is accentuate all those beautiful, fresh aromas and crisp flavors. Here's uh, the flavor first creamy and silky glass. If you like Chardonnay, boy, is this the glass for you. You'll see that the widest part of the glass is right here in the middle. The glass itself has this beautiful harmony and that accentuates the creaminess of Chardonnay and the silkiness of Pinot Noir. And as you say, Guy, we all know, right? Someone who likes big, bold, powerful wines, Cabernets and Merlots, for example. Well, in our bold and powerful glass, you see that the widest part of the glass is toward the bottom of the bowl. And what that does is allow all of those big, powerful aromas to sort of unfurl themselves and, and the wine takes on just a richness and, and sumptuousness. I've poured some here and you can see all this incredible headspace for all those bold flavors to really um, evolve and uh, come out in the glass, but you know what? Let's put it to the test. Yeah, let's do You've it. You've got a glass there, right? Yeah, I, and I've got. I, you, Just, I, I actually drink all different types of wine, but I pulled out the uh, Honig. This is a Sauvignon Blanc, so this okay. is more of like a fresh and fruity sort of a wine. I have two glasses here, and everybody said you have to try this. So this is a traditional wine glass that you probably get at the dollar store, right? That everybody yeah. thinks is just a basic wine glass. I'm going to pour some wine in here, and it's probably good. And then. Um, Karen, tell me how far I should go here. Probably right yeah, there. Yeah, right about there. Good. Yep, that's okay. good, guy. Now, I can't wait for you to experience this. Right. I think you're going to be really shocked. So this is the wah, wah, wine glass, okay? Yeah, any old wine glass, right. And now try it in the crisp, the flavor first, crisp and fresh glass. That's insane. That is, that is day and night. Well, first of all, <laughs> I'm in the glass. I can, I can sense all that, all those flavors, all that fruitiness. It's like I'm in the orchard. Exactly. Wow. And you know what people are doing, Guy? It's so much fun. People are doing glass tastings. So they are inviting some friends over. This is so much fun on the holidays. Take out some old glasses that you have, get a set of the flavor first glasses, 
pour the same wine just as you did into both glasses and then watch the difference. It's, it's actually, it's startling, but it's also so fantastic. All right. And of course, we all want the wine we drink to taste the best it possibly can. But you know what, Guy? Also, I have to quickly say they're super practical. They're really sturdy. You, these are not the kind of fragile glass you, I don't know, put up in the attic, right? These are the kind you use every single day. Wow. Thank you for sending this wine to you. sent me really good wine <laughs> to, to drink out of. I just did a Cabernet. All right, listen, I wish we had a ton of time. We don't. Uh, if you want to drink wine the right way, if you want to drink it and really experience it, this is the way to do it. Karen, you've been wonderful. I look forward to spending more time with you with a little more time in the future as we get closer to the holidays. Thank you so much to you. Cheers, Guy. Thank you, darling. Great job. All right, I'm buying these after work. I need wine glasses. You get all these all eight. You're going to love them. Stick around. The lovely and talented Miss Tamara is coming your way next. I'll see you on Friday.